Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I need to make this great food dance, the Jawargi roti dance. Kala masala chicken, the mamba black mamba chicken, chocolate kind of color. And with this, we're going to have make Jawarka roti with this nice, uh, elegant, and the beautiful gravy. This one needs to be. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sasriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washer at Vareva.com. And today, I'm going to make you Kala Masala Chicken, the black chicken, the Mamba Black Mamba Chicken. No, this is not that black Mamba Chicken. This is just the black chicken. The Maharashtrian, they make excellent uh, black color masala called Goda Masala. This one, they use coconut. And even in this recipe, I am using the similar kind of recipe and the chicken will be very tasty. For this, we're going to use quite a number of masalas. First, coriander seeds. The coriander seeds you take little more. So in this we are going to add a peppercorn, red chilli. First these uh, big ingredients including the whole garam masalas. I have got cinnamon, black cardamom, cloves and the javitri, the green cardamom, star anise, bay leaf and also I am adding little bit of hing. This is the stoning. We are going to slowly dry roast them. This is going to take around 7-8 minutes we are going to roast them till they get nice color. Now in this we are going to add a little bit of methi dana. So this has got really multiple flavors and all the shadru chilli we call it all the nice uh, aromas. In this we are going to add a fennel, the jeera, the poppy seeds. In this uh, the biryani fool, the sesame seeds and coconut. This is grated dry coconut. This one will give lot of flavor on a very slow flame. You know, we are going to roast this till this coconut is also slightly colored. Look at this. This is getting darker. Do it as slow as possible and make sure this will color and get a little more darker. Now put it in a blender and make it into a fine powder and then we are going to start the chicken preparation. So I am going to use oil. Here, because the masalas are all there, what more masalas we will add? Now we are going to again darken the onions. Darkening the onions is my favorite, whether it is biryani or anywhere. In this, we are going to add the onions, add salt and we are going to brown these onions. Browning the onions, nice, very evenly colored. I have got some onion paste, I just want to use this in this. Even the brown onions is good enough. This onion paste will also help in giving nice gravy. Now you will be able to see that these onions, they will slowly get dissolved and disappear and they will become a gravy. In this, we are going to add some ginger garlic paste, turmeric. Once you have this onion puree also slightly cooked, the oil to come out of this, only then we are going to add this tomato puree. Add the tomato puree and mix it well. The masalas nicely fried. In this, we are going to add the chicken pieces. Some of the moisture will start coming out, will form a nice gravy. In this, I am going to add some water also. Cook well. In this, we are going to add the chocolate masala. You know, the chocolate masala is basically this uh, masala, whatever we did. Look at this nice dark color. I am going to add some and if I think I need to add more, I will add more later. This will slowly give this nice chocolate color to this gravy. See, look at this and also it gives a very silky thickness. Let it simmer on a slow flame and we are going to let this cook till this chicken is nicely done for around 20 minutes. After slowly cooking it, it got the chocolate shine. The chocolate colored, but this is not chocolate chicken. If you want to check out the chocolate chicken, you have to watch my old videos. The Mexican mole, that too with the chocolate I have made and just outstanding. In the last, we are going to add some chopped coriander to this. After 2-3 minutes, I am going to serve this. This gravy is nice, silky and just outstanding. And with this, we are going to make Jawarka roti. You know, this is Jawarka roti is also very popular in the southern part of in India, Karnataka, Maharashtra and uh, Telangana and all this area. This Jawar, this is again called as a tropical millet and sorghum. So this one, if the flour is fresh, if you press it like this, it has to hold in the shape. I am going to add a little bit of salt. This doesn't have gluten content. So this is little bit difficult to make this roti thin. We use a little bit of warm water. Just add some warm water and make this into a little bit of soft dough. 
mix this and now we're going to make this on a cloth see the reason why we do on a cloth is we put it on a cloth and then we transfer it onto a tawa from the cloth so people who are very experienced you know then they can do it uh, directly just like a chapati but usually they press it with the hand and do it this is good but look at it it doesn't have the strength it will keep breaking i need to add a little more water and then we're going to do it on a cloth another thing while making this roti is just have some water and a wet cloth so this is the easiest way you know i'm just going to show you make the dough and uh, you can do it directly on a flour also but i'm going to show you the easy method look at this these edges keep breaking put your hands in the water and just keep making it thin it will stop sticking to your hands and then this will stick to the cloth and this is very easy make thin like this and after that you know you will be able to transfer it onto the tawa directly when you take it on the hand this will start breaking not a problem put it on a tawa and again here what i am doing is an inexperienced way of doing it when this get dry if this has to be cooked well on the top they do it with a wet cloth little bit and the roti will come out nice and soft cook it well on both sides and you will have a perfect jawarkar roti on a hot tawa may not be too good but on both sides see you want this roti to be nice and well cooked even on this side just use the cloth and uh, make sure that this is nicely cooked if this slightly puffs up it is great but you want to make sure that this is nicely colored wow once you have this nicely colored the sweet flavored roti along with the nice spicy chicken it will be very very good look at this chicken curry this is all nice fuming look at the color this is what the kala masala chicken curry there are so many other ways they do it but this is my favorite and uh, the chocolate colored the gravy is all shiny shiny and beautiful even with mutton you can do this but this is just too good and the jawar ki roti my relatives who live pretty much close to my house they make jawar ki roti every day when they look at the way i am making this jawar ki roti they are going to laugh eh hey, no matter how big chef when it comes to jawar ka aata i made it the simple way so everybody can make it put it on a wet cloth and do it so the other way is little bit tough we use lot of flour and then we keep hitting with the hand and making a roti but this one is good and the jawar ki roti whenever uh, we make at home the first bite we take and we see the sweetness of the flour with this nice uh, elegant and the beautiful gravy this one needs to be mm. this gravy is not ordinary this gravy definitely is extraordinary just too good and with a little bit of onion and this gravy i don't think i even need the chicken the gravy is so good dear friends india has amazing recipes and amazing kind of rotis amazing kind of food amazing kind of masalas india itself means amazing food dear friends you know this country has greatest foods in the world and i want you guys to you know watch my videos every day try as much as possible i would appreciate if you can make every day whatever gravies i am making whatever dishes i am making so your family can relish the greatness of the indian food this is just too good and the chicken pieces mm. Mm, mm, mm. you know i need to make this great food dance the jawar ki roti dance i am going to take this jawar ki roti and some chicken curry for my father he will thoroughly enjoy it mm mm -hmm. <laughs>